Oh god, the bats! Oh Jesus Christ, what's up everybody? Good evening, how you doing? What's up, Sacrificial Toast? What's up, Arcane Tradition? What is up, a bearded Canadian? I see you there. What is up, everybody? Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. God almighty, am I glad to be here. Or at least just not working. I don't know, I don't know if it's like this for y'all, but like... It seems like there's always some... There's always some element of your life that's causing you stress, whether it be whether it be work, whether it be family, whether it be something else, like some something outside of those things. But there's always there's always something coming from somewhere. And it for me, at least, it seems like everything kind of tends to balance out in response to that. Like right now, it's work. Work is so intense right now that it is just grinding me down during the day. And then once once work is over, all like I'm just like kicking back with my family and having a good time and coming to these streams and feeling super good about everything. But yeah, work is. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Please link around the game select screen. This shit. Yeah, believe me, I understand. I yeah, we'll we'll sit here for a while. That's fine. Hello, hi, good evening. Yeah, I fee I was dragon ass, not a dragon ass. That would actually be kind of cool. Uh, like those big dudes down in uh, Dark Souls lava land. Um, no, I was dragging. I was dragging ass earlier today because I had to sit through eight hours. This is what I did today. I sat through eight hours of voiceover. And then in the middle of that, I took a break 
to work on casting for a different voiceover project. And then the whole time that I was listening to the main voiceover project, I was also editing strings for that same project. Not voiceover strings, other game strings, like skills and stuff. Anyway, cheers, chat. Here's to you. We restocked on fine liquor over the weekend, so you might be seeing more mixed drinks from me. Definitely, definitely over the next couple of nights because uh, on the bright side, tomorrow is my last day of work for the week. I get two. I get Thursday and Friday off for uh, Chisok, which is like Korean Thanksgiving. Big dude, big voice recording day. Lot, lot of stuff. It's cool though. It's cool though, cause I, uh, I, I get to see like uh, the folks that are that are in everything. I get to I get to meet and hear the really the really experienced, entertaining voice actors. It's I mean it's fun. I can't say I hate my job or anything because I get to do really cool stuff. Um, this this new project I'm working on, we might cast some really cool people for that. Um, I have, I have high hopes, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not bad, it's just, it's long, it's exhausting, it's, it, it's making me pine for the unbusy days. Because there was just a lot of, just a lot of organizing and wrangling and stuff to do today, so, and I mean, it's going, it's all going well. It's all good. Just tiring. I just want to play, I just want to play Titan Quest, goddammit. I really just want to play Titan Quest. It's been a long time since I last wanted to get as 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 deep and complete into a game as I do a Titan Quest. Like I really do I really do want to get like multiple characters to the end game and like farm up all the super legendary items and find all the hidden bosses and do all the secret stuff and I'm just I'm totally into it right now. I am super, super into it, and it pains me that I don't have time to, to spend on it. So, if you're wondering how I'm going to spend my Thursdays and Fridays when I, when I am free and not ferrying kids around or going shopping and stuff, there's your answer. Titan Quest, Titan Quest, and uh, probably some Titan Quest. And I'm very much looking forward to the new Titan Quest coming out. Uh, it should be next year. I think they said it's coming out next year. I will probably get that when it drops. I will probably stream it, uh, at least for a bit. So, <laughs> what's up, Fury? Uh, fi finally, you were addressing me by by my correct name. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well tonight. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I'm just I just one more day. I just gotta get through one more day, and then I get I get a four day weekend. I'm really Really looking forward to that, decompressing. I will probably be in exceptionally high spirits on Thursday and Friday for uh, the power hours and the wheel, respectively. Getting people to laugh does feel good, doesn't it? I hope I accomplish that every once in a while, either intentionally or otherwise. Whatever it takes to get a laugh out of y'all, I'll do it. I ain't got no problem with that, so. Um, we're not gonna sit here and ramble for too long because there is there there are Draculas to hunt. There's there's drama to be had. There's a big reveal to do. Oh god, I can't wait. I can't wait to have this discussion with all y'all. So I'll uh, go ahead and drop the reminders because the reminders usually often sometimes spur additional conversation before we get into the game proper. Also, people are gonna keep filtering in and being like, hey, look what I'm doing, and be like, oh, that's super cool, nice, let's talk about it for like 20 minutes. Um, we got two, we actually have a bunch, oh, we have two big things, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna correct myself like that. We have two big things going on in GPG land. One is the wheel happening on Friday. We're doing a shmup fest wheel, there is a shmup fest on Steam, I'm pointing at my screen because I still have Steam up on here. I haven't switched over yet. Um, your job, if you haven't yet, is to go into the Steam Shmup Fest to find an interesting looking shmup for $5 or less and to put on the list. And then on Friday, we shall spin the wheel thrice, as we are known to do. 
We will pick and play three games. Whichever game is the most entertaining of the evening will earn its chooser channel VIP or some bonus death marks uh, if they're already a VIP or a moderator or something. Uh, and it does seem like death marks are back in vogue right now because as you can see, we are having a collection for our next Doom stream, which shall be the Journeyman Project. Now that is chugging along quite well, so if you want to hurry that to fruition, go ahead and throw your coins in the pool. What's up, Liverman? Yes, I rolled R and everything. I did get fancy in here. I am a man of sophistication and refinement. Don't you fucking forget it. <laughs> um... So that's that, okay, that's the wheel. That's Doomstream. Spooktober. Spooktober. Spooktober is fast approaching. Also, RV Winkle is fast approaching with a sub for 27 months, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Very generous of you. Um Jealous of anyone who can roll their Rs. I learned that as a child just to be annoying. And then I took Spanish classes and learned that it was actually useful, so I was very excited about that. <laughs> this is the point and click where ruin everything happened and people go back in time to help Mr. Grumpy save the world. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what the Journeyman Project is. Now you're just showing off? I am indeed! It's my stream, I can do what I want to. It's my stream, it's Tuesday night, I got a drink, I've got my too long dog on my shirt. Everything's good. God's in his heaven, all's right with the channel. <laughs> the hell was I saying? Spooktober, yes. Spooktober is fast approaching. Uh, you have only until the end of Thursday night stream. That is a scant 48 hours from now to get in any final suggestions for Spooktober. Uh, if you don't have any more, that's fine. I've already got a tentative uh, schedule up and running and ready to go, which shall be revealed on Friday's stream, before we get into the wheel proper. There will be a, a small presentation. No promises, there may be a PowerPoint presentation. I don't wanna get y'all too excited. I don't wanna, I, I, I don't wanna write checks that my slides can't cash, but, but, I'm not ruling out the possibility of PowerPoint on Friday. <laughs> This is just lost in Viva for Spooktober. It looks like you've already played it. We, um... I think we streamed a night of it. We didn't finish it. Same with World of Fucking Horror. Uh, we did a night of it a long time ago, and I've been meaning to go back to it, actually. Yeah, don't... Don't be... Yeah, don't be too concerned with the... With the one game per person thing. If you want, if you already put in a game and you want to put in another one, you know what, just, it's, it's fine. Just go ahead, it's, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not promising anything. Maybe it'll get played, maybe it won't. My priority, of course, is gonna be playing uh, at least one game from everybody before I start doubling up. But you never know, uh, especially if it's something shorter, if it's something that fits conveniently into, an, into one night or or if it's something that would fit into part of a night. Like say, if we finish a longer game early one night and we've got an hour or two to spare, I am gonna be kind of casting about for little filler games uh, to play during those moments, so. It was on Thursday and Saturday, it'll be now you're playing with PowerPoint. <laughs> <clears throat> Eerie Syndrome, Aria of Sorrow, Romancelvania, oh yeah. I have, I have looked at all of these. I have been, I have been thoroughly vetting games and preparing them for, for scheduled them. Yeah, I think I'm usually the bunkier was you, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. World of Horror would be a very solid filler game. So yeah, throw it in there. Throw it in the mix. See what comes out. Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um... I suppose uh, if you want to do something for community night in Spooktober, I know Fury and somebody, some other folks, uh, have been in the community night channel in Discord trying to dr drum up interest in things. Uh, make it happen. Get get active. Get get talking. Decide on decide on a game or games or plan or something. Uh, whatever you want to do. Community night is your night. 
You can do whatever you want. You can decide on a game, you can decide on a slate of games. Just tell me what you want. Decide democratically, collectively, howeverly, and just, yeah, stuff, things, do it. Anyway, I do think we'll get started. 15 minutes in the stream, I can play a video game. This isn't completely unknown to me. Anyway, selector data. We are not Michael. We are not Flyboy. Why didn't even Flyboy? Is that the is that the unlock mode? Well, we'll find out when we beat it, I suppose. We are Sparky, the Vampire Hunter. Submit two ideas: games that aren't horror that scared you, or Doomstream worthy horror tires that give them a taste of poison. Martian, Martian Gothic keeps coming around and around and around. Thunderdome, you say on it. Two games enter, no streamer leaves. No civil wars. What's up, Zem? And we're back in all of our god. Oh, I know where we're green. I know why we're green because I equipped an emerald cloak. Your cloak actually changes the color of your after image, but it doesn't change the color of your garish ass outline. That's really gross looking. All right, so anyway, um, welcome to Dorkula's Castle. We're like 70 some percent of the way through it. Isn't that amazing? Uh, we are Justy Belmont, or as Chad is taken to calling him, Busty Belmont. Uh, we are the grandson of Simon Belmont. Our buddy Maxim is giant idiot who was feeling inadequate because he's not a Belmont. So he went off and decided to find Dracula's destroyed remains, which, I mean, turns out, weren't all that destroyed to begin with. Uh, he blacked out, and when he came to, our childhood friend Liddy was kidnapped. And uh, tracking her down, we've come to a big spoopy castle that, I mean, it's Dracula's castle. Obviously, it's Dracula's castle. Obviously, obviously, it's Dracula's castle. So now we're here. Uh, and Maxim's being weird and inconsistent and jerky and we met Death and he's kind of a jerk too. I guess that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Anyway, we're in the clock tower. There's always a castle, there was always a clock tower. Oh, and there's a boss right here. Uh, I guess I could fight it. Nah, you know what? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're gonna, we're gonna do a few other things because we really we ran through this area looking for a save point. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what other wonders uh, may exist here. Hope the boss isn't gravity too hard. All right, that's a big old gear. That is the big chungus of gears. Busty Belmont's friend, shown in rival, yeah, pretty much. So what's up, Shadows? What's up, Grunt Fodder? What's up, Nemrin? What's up, everybody? It's good to see y'all out. Glad you're here. Glad we can share these magic moments together, chat. I can't wait to show you. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Oh, hello, guy. Uh, behold the guardian armor. Oh, I remember this. I can't hurt this guy. Wow, isn't that crazy? Just can't do any damage to him whatsoever. So what if we just kind of keep... Yeeting him backwards into the gears. And make him explode. I don't, yeah. I don't I don't know why this screen decided to go quite so crazy there, but anyway, I got a bunch of armor. Uh I got guardian armor, which is really good. And I got a guardian helm and Guardian Glove, and Guardian Boots, and now my defense is insane. And that's that. Yeah, didn't even jam- those gears, nothing holds them back. They cannot be denied. They were hungry. Dude died so intensely the world mangled himself around it. Anyway, this, uh, this goes clicky-click. That may be important at some point, but not right now. Let's see, where are we? Okay, we can go down. There's more stuff down. Also, down is away from that harpy. Which I'm not having the best time fighting. Huh. 
Huh, a wall. A very, very exciting wall. Now, before, before you get too excited, chat, because we've seen walls like this in recent Metroidvanias, and we've gotten really cool powers to get past them, right? Right, 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 right? Uh, don't, don't expect that from this one. It's not exactly how it's gonna work here. There is a way past that wall and it's really dumb. Have you seen Phoenix Dragula's castle? We have walls. <laughs> yes, we do. Down is also not up. Truer words have ne'er been spoken. Ain't that the truth? Ow. All right. What's up here? More harpies. Of course, more harpies. And and a disc armor. Discus man. I made I made him leak discs. All his all his discs went everywhere. I hate it when everybody can see your discs. Hey, where the hell did you come from? I didn't ask for this. No, quit, stop it. Harpies in this game are jerks. Like sometimes, sometimes they're just nothing and sometimes they're real jerks. Hey, I was sound with. No, 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 wasn't Astalon sort of that? Oh crap. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> this is the closest thing I can think of is Sorcerian by Falcon. That's more size playing dungeon crawling missions you undertake from Hudtown. How'd that work? Traversal ability is based on what class you have in your party, maybe? I would guess so, yeah. I suppose so. What's that? I got a hint card. What's this hint card say? Hint card four. Some spells can be cast multiple times. Do do do. But you don't have to take my word for it. I need to drink some blue raspberry goo. You have to exploration multiple characters, kind of. <laughs> Shoot the cyber demon until it dies. Yeah, I've got a great idea. Let's not die. Let's use one of our 12 potions and prevent death. Uh, um... Wow, this is really, unless like there's a whole nother area branching off of this bottom part, there's just not a whole lot going on in here, is there? Still haven't hit bottom. Oh, remember these? Everybody loves these. The things that swing and move. How pendulous they are. Well, I guess I lost my knife. Guess we're just gonna have to live with the cross. Oh well. I still can't believe I haven't found any secret walls. That's really kind of weirding me out. Oh god, I hate this one. So Castlevania loves these like, oh wow, okay. Castlevania loves these ghost swords people. And sometimes they're really obnoxious. Like that one has just an absurd number of iframes on them. Oh yeah, now I can see what Ice Cross does. I, don't, I gotta admit, like Wind Cross is really good. Cause it's not like this is like burning out anytime soon. And we get another stupid wall. Marvelous, magnificent, very excited, happy to be here. Also, I might as well use another potion. Gotta admit, this is OP. This is pretty, yeah. 
And, and it persists through rooms. Wow, and I gotta do this. I got nothing for doing this. Like, re reward my risky traversal video game. Has some pepperage farm thin chocolate chip cookies. They're uh, so surprisingly good. Okay, so they do burn out eventually. It's not perfect. Okay, well, there <laughs> there's the map chat. There's what we get. Okay. Amazing. Ow. Uh, I got a bag and bag. Uh, got a bag on head or something. I don't know. What it's, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm keeping the absurdly thick armor I'm wearing. Should be good for pre preventing death. Um, all right, there's one little area I haven't checked up here. Seems like the kind of thing that would cost MP to sustain. I mean, in, in, a, in, a, in a balance game, probably. I guess they figured the, the balancing factor of this one is just, like, each cross only does a couple of hits. And by couple, I mean like 10 or something. Yeah, pizza on a baguette, you get a pizza anytime. I used to eat so much Stouffer's French bread pizza when I was kid. I went through a bunch of phases of, of late night snacks. I started, what did I start with? I feel like I started with uh, Hot Pockets. And I don't remember how exactly I got on Hot Pockets. I just did. Um... Yeah, it's a helmet woven from thin strips of metal. I start with Hot Pockets, I branch out all, all around there. I tried Hormel's frozen cheeseburgers for a while. Those were horrifying grease monstrosities. Um, I did uh, pizza bagel bites for a while. Those, those were good, just really, really rubbery because we would microwave them. And then eventually we got a, oh, and I used to do uh, da, 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 red, the Red Baron uh, personal pizzas. And then eventually, eventually, after we got a proper toaster oven, I landed on Stouffer's French bread pizzas. And man, like, I love those things. I bet I wouldn't if I ate them now. Currently, like, easy snack of choice is pizza Lunchables. See, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. That's a solid one. Wait, where the hell does this go? Oh, I just, okay. I lost track of where I was for a second. Just for a second. Just a little bit. Pizza's on a bagel. You know, pizza. It's up $10. Cheese on bread is very answer sinful but delicious. I recently had. Uh, oh. Oh, that sounds amazing, dude. That sounds amazing. Ah. Uh, you know what? I have no respect for you. Suffer and die. That guy actually tanked it pretty good. Mr. Ruler Sword level two. That's not really his level, that's just some some of the some of the enemies, like the, the bone dragons and the ruler swords, they give them different patterns and stuff, but they didn't bother to give them different names for whatever reason. They just did like ruler sword level two, ruler sword level three. Tragically uninspired. And that's obviously the worst part of this game. No, stop stoning me. Stop it. I don't want to be turned. No, 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 We ain't doing this. We ain't doing this. Ruler sword love to stab. Metric or Imperial ruler. Abysmal are the drop rates on enemies for gear real bad. The one saving grace, and it's really stupid saving grace, is there's just not that much gear. So there's not that much stuff to find. Hey, look, it's a big slime. It's it's the Max Slimer. Jelly Bellies. I'm in this game and I don't like it. <laughs>
Final Fantasy Dragon Quest 3 today? Nice, you enjoyed it? Glad to hear it. Ow, no, I'm getting out of this corner. Eat shit. Oh god, he's doing things. Chad, I didn't expect this boss to do things. I thought we were good here. Reminds me, when are we doing Bean Boozled? Ooh, gross. Oh, I don't want to be poisoned. How dare you. Uh, anti-venom. Wow, you really yeeted that guy. The only thing that makes this guy even remotely difficult is just a really shitty design decision to not let you hit his little slimes until they hit the ground. Seeing Panera got everything bagel and did not contain all matter. <laughs> What's up, bum fuzzled? Cool. Minna says, thank you for the list of horror games. Oh, my pleasure. Glad to help. Hopefully there's some good stuff on there. It was it was a pretty wide range of things, but yeah. I will say if you stream it, it would mostly work, although the pacing can be a little wonky towards the very end. Gear prices jump a bit too high. Enemies don't drop enough. Okay. More of this. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you, Faith... Faith is kind of a big ask. It's a very intense game. Honestly, for for a, a 2D retro game like that, it's pretty damn scary. There's a lot going on there. All right, we got the green stone. Makes your uh, makes makes your whip tip green. If your whip tip is green, see a doctor. One of the one because of simple graphics. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Ret chunky retro graphics are not for everybody. As, as much as I love the last door, I know I'm never gonna get everybody in the world to play it, just because it is like super, super, super lo-fi. Arg, death has returned. All right, chat, hold on, shut up. Everybody pay attention. This is it. This is the big moment. This is what it's all been building towards. I have been looking forward to this since last night and we're finally here and I'm very excited. Pay close attention. Arg, death has returned. Mortal, you know of a man by the name of Maxim, do you not? Yes, I do. What about him? I believe that man has discovered objects that hold my lord's powers. Gbwa? You mean Dracula's remains? My lord's fragmented remains? Now it all makes perfect sense. Ah, Justy, you fool. You ran right into death's clever trap where he talked about his lord's fragmented remains and you're like, oh, your lord's fragmented remains. And death is like, aha, my lord's fragmented remains. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> you have provided me with an answer, so I shall reward you with an explanation. It's simple. This castle is a creation of Maxim's will. What? But he's not capable of such a feat. True of the original Maxim, but possession of my lord's remains changes everything. The castle's two spirits now embody my lord's powers. The castle's Two spirits? Two spirits exist now within his body. His original spirit and a wicked spirit born from my lord's remains. What a ridiculous notion. And so two castles were born to embody the two spirits. Of the two spirits, the wicked one wanted the castles most. Well, I mean, obviously. Wait a minute, what do you mean by two castles? There's only been, there's only been one castle. Right, chat? Ignorant mortal, don't you realize that this castle has two layers? I don't want to have anything more to do with you. You're too stupid, farewell. 
<laughs> Wait, are you running away from me? This castle as it is now is a transient one. I must go and aid its completion. All right. I want you to look at this map one last time. Commit this to memory. This is important. I like death better when he just kills me. That's a lot of doors. This is the same place I was before, but the aura about it has changed. Now I see this is what death meant when he said there were two castles. All right, here's your big reveal, chat. Everywhere we've been so far was not one castle, but two castles intertwined. Castle B is the main shaft, and the, um, the, you know, it's the shaft in the, at the bottom, all right? Castle A is the entrance area, and then the clock tower and the chapel and stuff. So we've actually been through chunks of both castles. Now, Castle A does... <laughs> Does have, Castle A does have the central cock and ball section, but we haven't been through it. Likewise, Castle B does have the entrance corridor and the clock tower and stuff, which is where we're now, where we are right now. So, this is the big reveal. This is this is the big gimmick of Harmony of Dissonance. There are two castles, parallel castles. It's it's the Castlevania multiverse. Yes, there are there are two. <laughs> Yo, this game sucks. It's all boot blacking. <laughs> I do like the reveal here. You've been in the other castle already and do and didn't know it. I I like that too. Honestly, I like that too. However, <laughs> however, you may have noticed that we've run into a lot of navigational difficulties getting thus this far, right? Uh, we've gotten we've gotten stuck in a lot of places. We've had to do a lot of backtracking. There have been a lot of walls and whatnot. Um, this whole two castle setup kind of lays that whole thing bare. It will be more more apparent as we explore further. But yeah, the big issue, honestly. I've never heard it do that before. We might have to do that, that part again. The sick like jams. It. I've never heard it do that before, ever. It's actually kind of a jam. Oh Christ, we have to kill the slime again. Damn, you 75% of the way through the community challenge? Jesus. Oh god, we have to do the slime again. Uh, Jesus, we have to do the slime again. Oh, that's the other thing. That's the other thing that's amazing to me. The boss, the boss that is, that is gatekeeping this incredible reveal is just a slime. It attacks by sitting on the floor and spooging at you. That's it. That's all you get. No, no, you can you can talk about it now. That was the big reveal. I wanted I wanted to make sure that people that hadn't seen this game before and didn't know that was coming weren't spoiled on it. But now now no, nah, we can we can, we can talk about the the two castle theory all you want. <laughs> that I come back to my game broke Zem. Never seen it do that before. So now we gotta fight the boss again. And we gotta get the big, the big death, death denouement. The death denouement, if you will, inside of your two castles. Oh, this is such a tedious fight. Oh, 
Oh my god, get off the ceiling. Is bigger Luke in one of the two castles? <laughs> Dude, castle to castle love each other very much. There's a castle in the castle. Also, I'm disappointed in myself for not saying the castle is stored inside the box during the map reveal. <laughs> well, honestly, you should be. That would have been perfect, honestly. I got an excellent. Gotta say, not a fan of the music, also fair. I don't mind the music. I think the music is fine. But yeah, it's not, it, it's not the sick jams you have come to expect from a quality Castlevania, certainly. They do the job and not much else. I don't know, it's basically just GBC music uh, with GBC, GBA seasoning. Yeah, it basically is. Game Z having a fit because Circle of the Moon wasn't Symphony of the Night enough and they forgot to make it good like Symphony of the Night. That is honestly very true. I love Iga. I have a great deal of respect for what he's accomplished over his career. But yeah, this one, this ain't it. Shut up. Area music is better than whatever the boss- Yeah, the boss song is pretty disappointing. And I don't think there's another one, at least until like the final battle or something. Playing use Yakuza 0 again, and my god, the disco minigame sucks. I don't- I can't remember if I was actually any good at the disco minigame or not. I don't remember it now. Alright, is my game going to break again? Let's find out together. I wonder if it was like, cause I, I picked up an item and this at the same time. Maybe that made it freak out somehow. Need a Disco Elysium minigame instead. That would be pretty sweet. I was wishing you got the dash boost. That was just your default movement speed from then on in the game. Oh, in Circle of the Moon? Yeah, requiring a double tap to do the dash, yeah. The controls in Circle aren't great. Although, one, once you get, like, the Skyward Leap, I feel like that makes a huge difference. All right. So now, to help you to help you interpret the map, Castle A, if you're doing the Castle A map, gray is unexplored, blue is explored. If you're doing the Castle B map, gray is unexplored, green is explored. If you're doing the Castle A, B map, Blue is Castle A explored, green is Castle B explored, Cyan is both castles explored. So if you can if you can interpret what you're seeing on the map, if if you learn to internalize this, you can just use the Castle A B map to navigate everything. Hey, clock! Unfortunately, I grabbed money at the same time, so I didn't get to see what it's actually called. But it's another tchotchke for our tchotchke room. What the hell are you talking about? It's the big reveal, Eva. We're in the other castle. You know, the other castle. Yeah, God help anyone who is colorblind. Well, I'm glad I just saved. Hang on. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> the analog pocket's like, dude, I don't want to put up with this shit. <clears throat> Sub last bosses? Yes, I'm playing this on the analog pocket. I'm trying to play this on the analog pocket. Dust the enemy of the cartridge. Castle A and B is very insulting. Why calls it Castle A and Castle 1? <laughs> You try to get this one on Friday? Nice, nice. I think the I think the Castlevania no. I think the Konami sale is over, right? Is the Konami sale over? I, I have no sense of time anymore. Um But during during the Konami sale they had this on uh Oh, this is what we need this for now. 
it opens this. Oh, the analog pocket. Oh, that's right. They're doing um, they're doing another line of analog pockets. The like the transparent ones. It's great. I love it. I I take it on all my trips. Wonderful little piece of hardware. High school prank. I released Castle in the gymnasium with Castle A, Castle B, and Castle D written on the sides. That's a good prank. I like that. Hello, disc armor mans. Hello, Dargan. Woob. Blue eyes, white dragon. It is a Konami property, after all. I think they missed their chance on that one. Let's see, all right. The, the biggest difference between Castle A and Castle B are those walls. The walls I was telling you, like, yes, we can get past them, but there's a really dumb way to do it. Hey, see that thing on the, on the ceiling? It does something very exciting. So this is the Bronze Garter. He dies very easily. But oh no, there's a wall, chat. Summer Cruise Castlevania has a ROM hacker who plays Yugi and can summon his monsters to attack. Oh, that's clever, I like that. I think you can see where this is going. I need this guy to follow me. Whee! Bronze harder folded like a chump. He sure did, man. Also, I'm sure you've noticed at this point, they love their palette swaps in this game. Big fans of palette swaps. I remember having bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh cards licensed to one Konani, and I think about that. Oh, that's right, this is the item crash. Let me have my let me have my cross back. Cross is badass. I'm talking about that was awesome. Uh, here's a very empty room. I believe these empty rooms are where the shopkeep shows up, but he only shows up in one of the castles. Ivan's I remembers correctly. Which I can't be sure that I do. No, that there was... I'll go back and double check. I don't think there was an item in there. Those rooms have weird little emblems in the corner that I've never sussed out, and I've never looked up online what they mean. Yeah, that's that's not an item. Believe me, this game is not going to let, let you miss anything visually. If that was an item, it would have like a neon green outline. Oh yeah, I totally don't blame you. Totally don't blame you. The game doesn't seem to really do subtle height. No, it doesn't. There's there's really nothing subtle about this game. God, okay. So this is one of the set piece rooms. Basically, when I step on this button, um, this ball is gonna start rolling and I have to race it to the destination to get past it. I never figured them out. There are clues to how to get the shopkeeper to show up. Oh, okay. And of course they let the ball have the have a head start. Cause the ball can't dash like you can at least. This is where you gotta get to. Let's see how much I beat the ball by. Sanic! Balls don't have to stop for Fleeman, though. 
balls are stored in the castle, but which castle? Man, I beat the pants off that ball. And that got me healing mail and the heart choker. Um, which are... Healing mail. When standing still, this armor slowly restores its user's HP. Uh, I don't care. And then the heart choker... Uh, increases the appearance rate of big hearts. Well, if we ever used hearts, maybe I would take that. Really just like the backgrounds. Bit garish, yeah. Bit, bit, well, everything about this game is garish, honestly. Everything about this game is just viciously, viciously bright. Metric MC Escher's relativity of stairs. Oh yeah, this background is particularly egregious. It's like they made one neat little graphic and then just tiled it like crazy. I wonder if they didn't rubber band the ball by choice or by limitation. I think by choice. I I don't I don't think they wanted anything to be too particularly difficult in this game. What is a lucky ring? Does it make you lucky? Increases user's luck. All right, I am going to strip the guardian boots and the guardian glove for lucky junk. Ball could have just been a literal countdown timer before closing the door. Kind of where you can lower the brightness on the system itself to slightly compensate for it. I'm pretty sure you can actually. I am pretty sure you can. I do kind of... We could try it actually. Actually, wait, let me let me go save first in case this thing's gonna freak out if I start screwing around with it again. Oh my god, I forgot you have to go all the way around if you go in that side room. Crap. Remember the actual hardware, no backlight GBA, the colors didn't call, come off quite as garish. Yeah, they were definitely compensating for the lack of a backlight. So yeah, let me get, let me find my way back around to the save room. Wait, does that mean you can cheat this room? Does that mean you can just go into that side room and then come back out and the ball hasn't moved or something? Or maybe it ha maybe the ball's still there actually. I don't know. Slide animation, this is particularly funny to you. Oh no, the ball's still there, so yeah. Harmony of Distance is the game that punishes you for buying a back like mine. Dude just shuffling his leg in the air, yeah. Okay. Let me, let's see here. Is it settings? Oh, I don't think I even, well, okay, hang on. What is original? Hang on. Let me go back in. What's up, Larry Richard Spiso? Did you manage to explain the art of scam sites? <laughs> I didn't actually come back around to that. All right, hang on. Let me go back into the game. Because I think I was just looking at the wrong thing to switch around. All right, anyway. All right. It's not tools, is it? No. Settings. Not doc, is it video? No, that's that. Uh, pocket, systems, GBA, video, display mode. Oh, Lord in heaven, we could play it like this. <laughs> there you go, just like you remember. Or I think the other one is like more of a compromise. Original SP 101. Yeah, that's a bit brighter. This is like, this is like kind of a happy medium, I guess. Is that actually better, chat? Is this, is that, is this actually a, an improvement? 
Okay, cool. Let's go with this then. I'm fine with this. I mean, this is still kind of ugly, but whatever. Big dumb reveal, we got it. There are, there are, inside of you, there are two castles. As much as I don't like fake scan lines, this does make the game look better. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I don't, I don't like, I don't like trying to simulate old, like, like, uh, like analog tube TV VGA graphic effects. But in this particular case, it's, it's doing the work of like, of like bringing the brightness down. Looks like it's been embroidered. Scan lines have returned. My number one problem with this game is how much the castle and individual rooms are in intestinal and how they snake around or full of hot air or bullshit. Also, scan lines are fine. Yeah, I pretty much agree with you on all counts here, blue, boot, boot blacking. Why do I always want to call you blue blacking? Does that make any sense to you? Can I just start calling you blue blacking? Would that be a problem? <laughs> oh shit, a boss. Wait. When did I let, uh, I'm gonna save again. I wasn't expecting a bat, uh, boss again. That arc Dracula return will stick with me forever. Sprite proportions look way more natural somehow with this. Cause the pixels, like the, the scan lines are actually taking a tiny bit off of the size of objects around, around their edges. So yeah, I guess it is in a way reproportioning everything. Adds more detail to some of the sprites. I think in the same way as, oh my God. Chat, I want you to watch this and really think about the bosses that you've seen in this game. Peeping big. Big old peeper. I did too early. Yeah, what if, exactly. What if enemy but big? Damn it, dude. God, go away. These silly things I try to add to regular conversation. Keep you, uh, kept you waiting and then greeting people like, oh, Otis, it's great to see you again. You must die in a gentle tone. We're peeping big now, chat. Oh, he's getting all, he's getting all mad. He's getting all, okay, never mind, he's dead. And he exploded in a bunch of eyeballs, cause that makes sense. Yoshi's Island School boss design, except not as creative. First thing is a Metal Gear thing, and the second is a Game Grumps thing from, uh, one of the CDI games. Oh, I got a life max up, nice. All right, fuck that guy. Inside you is a bunch of eyeballs. What was that? What was the eyes on the inside game? Boo Black, that is an amazing emo. <laughs> Kinda love it. Oh, yeah, that's right, it was Bloodborne, wasn't it? Yep, eyes on the inside. Minish Cap actually did that to a really neat effect. In the first dungeon, I do it while shrunk down. So the boss's said dungeon was a normal sized monster turned into a kaiju. See, that's cool. That's, that's actually a neat gimmick. This game has a real problem with just taking extremely common enemies and just like upscaling them to make bosses out of them. Like it happens a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Once you have to Walmart, I work with customers quoting as much Metal Gear as I can.
So you can tell this is Castle B because all the gears are broken now. Oh, and there's like a dead guy on this one, which I actually really like this. He, he kind of flops around as the gear goes around. That's honestly a really neat touch. I do like a lot of the detail stuff in this game. Honestly, I do appreciate the level of detail that went into it. That's like a that, that's like an Iga signature thing. Kaiser Knuckle. Um, I think this is actually an accessory. Yeah, it is. Said that this knuckle band was once used by emperors. Uh, increases your strength by a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Did any Castlevania has, have temper as sh shrimp as a boss? I want to say no. I am. I regret to import uh, to report that's a negative. Is this what's down here? Castlevania Sushi Go. By the way, the castles are identical. There are no secret rooms that are in one castle, but not the other. Obviously, they have different contents. They, they have different purposes. Like here, check this out. There's something in there, but we can't have it. <clears throat> the rooms and their contents are different, but the map is identical. Completely identical, top to bottom. I got a big mana prism. I'm not sure why they're called mana prisms. I think they're just like vitamin water or something. Castlevania definitely has sushi as a drop. That is true. Best uh, monster party boss is the ones like, fuck off dude, I'm already dead. We actually, uh, a long time ago, we actually did stream Monster Party. It was really fun. Good ass game. Shit. The wall still exists in this castle. When are games y'all think Ben from the sort of scan line original display emulation? Look, I feel like this is silent. He'll definitely benefit. Hmm. I am, honestly, I'm kind of a modern display purist. I, it, it's, it's a very, it's a very personal pet peeve of mine to hear people go on and on about like, oh, like CRT was the superior display. Everything looks better on a CRT, yada, yada, yada. I hate that shit. Honestly, I can't stand it. Um, I, I honestly think everything looks better crisp and clean. Personally. I understand. I understand that sprite art originally developed with CRTs in mind and the natural blending of them. I get that. I understand that. I understand that the, the art style was originally intended to be used in a different way than it is now. However, that doesn't change the fact that I think it looks a hell of a lot better when you can actually see it. You can, you can argue the intent all you want, and I agree, I agree, I understand that the intent was for that art to be shown on a CRT with the, with the understanding that it would look very, very different. I don't care, I wanna see it crisp and clean. And Evil Lord hit the deck! According to recent studies, nine out of 10 people don't notice when you put a musical instrument at the beginning of your set. I am this close to just ending the stream right now. I am this fucking close. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Oh shit, another boss already, chat. Are you are you ready for this? Are you prepared? Cuz I'm pretty sure I am. Hey, we know this guy. This is not only Legion, this is Legion Saint. And boy, he's loud and obnoxious.
biblically accurate Legion. I mean, wasn't wasn't Legion already kind of biblically accurate when you think about it? Not Grand Falloon, yeah. Where'd they get the name Grand Falloon anyway? What is what is that referencing? This is clearly just another big eye. Ah, shit, I don't want to be cursed. I hate being cursed. Oh, shit, I only have one more uncurse. You know what, fuck it. He's coming apart, chat! He's coming apart his big gooey seams. Never mind, he's dead. I really didn't want to knock off the last quadrant of him because if I remember correctly, it gets really obnoxious if you do that. Oh shit, I pushed the wrong button. Grand Falloon from the story, I have no idea. No idea. You lost me. Alright, hang on, I gotta re... I gotta redo my... There we go. I don't know exactly what they're referring, but Grand Flume is a concept from a Vonnegut novel, a group of people with a common purpose is meaning. Oh yeah, that's totally it then. That that has to be what they're referencing. Like full full on. There's there's in fact there's no way that's not it. It's too perfect. And then in sub in subsequent games they decide to name it Legion. So like most religion religion, I'm sure that was Vonnegut's point. Hey, I actually got a drop from him, a kettle hat. I don't think it's any good, but... Kurt Vonnegut is canon in Castlevania? Of course he is! Of course he is. Fred Asker and Paula Abghul are canon in Castlevania. Don't try to pretend like it isn't. Shit, oh my god. Man, fuck off. Alright, in Castle A... We are in Castle... Yeah, we're in Castle B. In Castle A, this is where we found the silver and gold trinkets for our tchotchke room. Game still seems pretty alright to me, honestly. I don't hate this game. I wouldn't, I would not call this a bad game. It has problems. It has a lot of problems, pretty much all of them stemming from the fact that Ego was like super overreacting to the reception of Circle of the Moon. I think, I think this game had, has a lot of potential. I think it has a lot of decent ideas. I think it's it's got a lot of execution issues, mainly. <clears throat> Vonnegut's example of Grand Falloon with the Communist Party, the Daughters of the American Revolution, G, every nation everywhere, and who's <laughs> yours? <laughs> If I play Twister, my kick size bed party was smaller because Wolf is <laughs> Oh, man. Actually, wait, now I don't remember what... Okay, Tchotchke Room is in Castle B. This is important. Because if we try to go to Tchotchke Room in Castle A, we're going to be very disappointed. Um, I want to... I mean, hell, let's see if we can go down from here. I feel like maybe that's what we're supposed to do. King size bed finally plays to put down a dishes when we eat. Oh, I think I got both the drops from these guys. I got ancient armor as well. That might actually be an improvement, honestly. It sounds good. Um. Oh, I got a green stone, never swapped out. Ancient armor is in fact an improvement. Uh, is the kettle hat an improvement? Kettle hat is an improvement, nice. 
Ancient Harmor, Kettle Hat, lucky as all hell. We're living large tonight, chat. Everything's coming up busty. Yes, Mirror Skellington's man's. Okay, he's dead now. The hell is he hitting me with? So I believe in Castle A, there was a wall blocking off this area. But of course in Castle B, we can just walk right through. Now, despite the presence of those stupid walls, you can get to everywhere in both castles. You just... Generally, with the walls, you have to go around from the other side by going through the other castle. Okay, this leads to somewhere. Oh, I thought I could go down from here. Apparently not. Oh, yeah, you can't jump down from there. Okay. Well, where are we going now? Uh, the Aqueduct of Dragons. All right, I've murdered Bone Liquid. I guess that's supposed to be liquid bone. Boner goo. It's probably, it probably should have been boner goo. If I was localizing this game, that's what I would call it. I do miss the CD-ROM loading hallways. Oh god, look at this fucker. The melty zombie. Uh, Alright, we are in uncharted territory now. See how Ultima Underworld PS1 uh, port got an English press? I did. I want to try it. I want to try it. You, you said the magic word when you're showing it off, Shadows. Gormless. You show me a gormless game and I want to play it. You hit it, does it bleed melty blood? It, I think it does, in fact. I think it does. For broth. Boner broth. Look, so these guys are completely liquid until you come up on them, and then they reform. So does that mean the swords and stuff sticking out of their back are also somehow liquefied? Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Wait, 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 hang on. I'm gonna stick with this for all. That did a stupid amount of damage. Watch this. 249 damage. Ow! Self? Why do you do these things to yourself? My play is neat, although it does suffer a bit from not quite enough buttons. They did do a few smart choices uh, from the day to adapt his controls over. Uh, you know, let's try this way first. Okay, that's a hallway. This might be a save room. Yeah. You just learn to know after a while. Like, the layouts of these castles, you start to figure out where a save room's gonna be. You see it coming on the horizon. Shmup nice getting spicy. I'm drinking another half liter of water. I'm gonna go to bed. Still here though. Well, and I am glad you are. I'm glad you're still with us. No, I want fist, not Jesus. Oh yeah, that was that was the call. That was definitely the call. Do away with all these fishmen's and mermen's and other men's. Oh god, you're gonna have a Dreamin' Project stream? That's gonna be such a pog stream. <laughs> What's up, Paris Alamanca? We are, yes, we are. As soon as the collection is complete. I, well, I mean, uh, I'm probably not gonna interrupt Spooktober with it, honestly. Okay, actually, this is fine. We'll go through here and come back. Try and drink two liters of water a day. That's an excellent habit. That is a very good idea. So much I could have done with this concept, but didn't. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part of it. It, it like, Harmony of Dissonance shows a lot of promise, and then they just kind of don't do much with it. Everything is very baseline. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was because of budget or what, but yeah, there's just, ow. Yeah, just, just not a whole lot going on in this game. 
Japanese ports of Ultimate games are really interesting just because an Ultima fan in general. I got the medicine jar. It's not an item you can use. It's a tchotchke. See, footage of that series, one of the best point-click multimedia things the 90s had to offer. You can hear machines moving above. I mean, I saw machines moving above. Like, it's not complicated. Also, I guess if you need to farm, if, if you need to farm money for some reason, you could just uh, go back and forth between these two screens and get a hundred bucks a pop. But I honestly don't remember the 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 guy selling anything of any importance ever. Again, kind of emblematic of the game, sort of just wasted opportunity in general. Oh my god, dude! I think I remember. I, for okay, for for closed doors like this, if I remember correctly. The button is only in one of the castles. So, like, the button to open the door for both of the castles is in Castle A. If you come this way through Castle A. And here... Honestly, chat, here might be my biggest complaint about this game. I'm getting to it a little bit early, because we haven't... We, honestly, we haven't seen the full scope of this issue. The map in this game sucks ass. It is terrible. This is probably the most backtrackingest Castlevania of them all. There is endless backtracking in this game. And it's all because of the way they, they laid these stupid ass castles out. With just the, the arbitrary walls and stuff. Two castles means twice the backtracking. And I think, honestly, to accommodate the whole two castle reveal early on, they left all these horrible gaps in the map. Like you can see between between the central shaft and like the eastern part of the castle, there's no connection. There's none, like literally none. It connects at the very bottom and it connects it at the very top. That's the most obvious problem. But here, look again, down here, um, the huge room in the bottom uh, uh, right-hand corner of the map doesn't connect to the underground area. It's just, it's just an offshoot of the clock tower. If you want to get to that underground area from the clock tower, you got, you got to march your happy ass all the way around. All the way around. Also, also, I'd like to point out where the fuck are the fast travel rooms now? We took a couple to get to the big reveal, but now where are they? <laughs> There's a magic mirror you can fast swap between castles or something. That'd be, oh, dude, that'd be infinitely better. The one in the upper right is the one that swaps us between castle A and castle B. It is no longer a fast travel door. Or it, I guess it never was. I do recall I finished a video, uh, I finished a video game said he liked this gimmick. It's a neat gimmick, again, it's a neat gimmick, just applied really poorly. What are some other games with this gimmick, chat? What are what are this, what are some other games where, where the gimmick is two versions of the same area that you swap between. There's a really obvious one that I will mention if nobody else does. I miss your stream still on the uh, struggle bus with Baltius. What makes it unnecessarily cruel is I give up and come back another time. I have to start the whole mission over again. There's an elite pilot you have to go through just to get, ooh, ouch, dude. Link to the past, Twilight Princess, Ikaruga Pokemon, Silent Hill, uh, does, does or I guess Silent, yeah, Silent Hill has the whole, like, Rust World or whatever. Half the Zelda games, Resident Evil, Metroid Prime 2. Metroid Prime 2, which was insufferable. I'm honestly surprised nobody's mentioned the one I'm thinking of. 
Yeah, to, to be fair, y'all thought of a bunch of ones that I didn't think of. But I'm really surprised. Origins had you hopping through literal mirrors? Oh. <laughs> okay. Not, not a lot of subtlety to that one, was there? We want you to feel good about yourself. So surprises, Chrono Cross. Ha oh my God, Chad, I finally found a secret wall. Could not Chrono Trigger. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm specifically thinking of a duality, not, not multiples. Chrono Trigger gets a pass from this dis discussion because it did different time periods, and also some of those time periods are dramatically different from other ones. You can't actually travel to all the same locations in each one. I need to go back and play Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is on my short list of games that, oh my fucking god. Oh my Jesus. Uh, uh. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter because you see how the next room has a gap in the ceiling. You need, you need the super jump to get through it anyway. So even if I could break down that wall, I wouldn't be able to go through there, which arguably might've been even worse. Chrono Cross is really good, for, except for when it decides to be really bad. So Chrono Cross is, is on my short list of games that I played and hated, but I want to give another try to. Is there a word for the fear of walls closing and the walls are terrifying amounts of force backtracking? Uh, there should be. There should be. Whip goes whappity whap in your face. There's a flash game we had to invert the world, but that doesn't count necessarily. So, God, this sucks. Because now we just need to leave, we, oh God. I basically need to backtrack through like 75% of what I did. And it seems like that's what the game intends. Cause I need that thing from the pillar room. Eversion's really good, yeah. Chrono Cross does have some sensibilities to drive you to the fucking wall, but it's good anyway. I, I gotta try it again. There were, there were some things that really annoyed me about that game. And I'm not sure there are things that have improved with age. I feel like Chrono Cross disliked me personally for the affection I have for Chrono Trigger, so I've never gone back to it. I mean, that is that is a very a, a very real and salient criticism of it. That it's supposed to be a sequel to Chrono Trigger, but went out of its way to dumpster those characters that everybody knew and loved. Chrono, Chrono Cross does have pr maybe, quite possibly, the best soundtrack in gaming history and one of the best soundtracks for any form of media ever. It's kind of amazing. As the thing, Chrono Cross has a deep, deep link to Chrono Trigger almost the entire way through. I know, I know it does. That doesn't change the fact that Chrono Cross, like murdering all the characters from Chrono Trigger off screen for a plot beat is a really shitty move. Here's an obscure one. There's an old point and click game called Darkseid that parallel worlds. Oh, dude, yeah. Dave, pe people, people around here are rabid for Darkseid. There is a strong contingent of folks waiting for that game. Has the PC port Chrono Cross? I have no idea. I have no idea. I only played it on uh, on PS1.
Crawls would be a great game if they had like his third as, uh, third as many playable characters actually flesh them out and ripped out any connection to trigger. I would agree with those points, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weird games that actually has too many characters and, and ends up watering down their impact because of that. As a kid, the scary game everyone was talking about was a version. Then I got older, the games the kids were scared of were FNAF. It's fucking Hello Neighbor, Bendy the Ink Machine, all that horse shit. Reject modern modernity, return to tradition. I'm with you on that pair. I don't really fuck with mascot horror. I'm not really down for it. One of the bad parts about Chrono Cross is I gotta catch them all. Crushing Stone. I think this is the thing that I actually needed. Um, by holding attack down, charge attack, and break some walls. Yeah, this is what I needed. I had to come back for this. It's so lame, too. God almighty. There was an exception recently, one that was really good. My Friendly Neighborhood. My, friend, my Friendly Neighborhood looks like mascot horror, but isn't. Because it's, a, it's actually Resident Evil in disguise. Bendy is great as like a cool indie tech gamma. Bendy is basically an art game. Or rather, Bendy should have just been an art game. Bendy, Bendy should have been a one-off, like artsy experiment, like Nissance or something. Is there a point to gathering all the characters in Chrono Cross? You know what, I don't even remember. I don't even remember there is or not. <gasps> oh my god! I got the heart of Vlad. So, uh, yeah, chat. By the way, just so you know, we're only missing one mobility power at this point. <laughs> we got the slide, we got the double jump, there's only one more. <laughs> These other ones are the six, uh, they're, they're the six remains of, of Dorkula. And that's all the game is at this point. We're just looking for those. Once we find all six of them, we can beat the game. One other thing that pissed me off about Chrono Cross, I love the ability to take branching paths in the plot, but, but, behoot. Put in so many characters you have to code in a uh, text filter to fake dialogue for them. You have too many characters. Because of that, if you want to recruit all the characters, you need to play through a minimum of three times. Yes, I remember that. I remember... I isn't that specifically because there's one point in the game where you have three options of who you can take, but you can only take one, and you're just locked into that for the rest of the game? So because of that one choice, if you want all, if you want, if you want to catch them all, you have to, you have to play through three times. And it's right near the beginning. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hey, we got a rocking chair. Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, I, I got through, I, I got through Chrono Cross without collecting all of the characters and finding all of the stuff and doing all of the things. And it was fine. It was fine. But yeah, it'll it'll make a completionist just lose her goddamn mind. Second half of the night was all about collecting parts of Vlad. That was there was an entire game before that. Yeah, and also like the game still had a flow to it. <laughs> there was there was a specific flow to yeah to what you were doing as you explored the castle. But because of the absolutely god awful layout of this one, it doesn't work. I ever played Eight Eyes? That's a game I found out about recently. It's NES era Castlevania at home. No, I know, I know. We streamed a tiny bit of Eight Eyes ages ago on the Power Hours, and it was not interesting enough to stick with. Yeah, it kind of blows. SMB2, but you can only choose one protagonist until New Game Plus. So that does 130 damage, which is extremely respectable. And it pierces. That's actually really nice. I like Fist. Again, here's another spot where you can just farm money all the live long day. Was Ada's the one where you can give your little brother controller to make him play the bird? Yeah, I think it is actually. I think it is. I didn't have a little brother, so I could do that. But I also didn't have eight eyes as a child, so. I only had two. <laughs> hey, look, I can break this. 
Amazing. Ours loves fisting confirmed goes on the GPG XL. Oh, there's a boss. I am gonna run back and save. I shouldn't do this. Like, I honestly don't remember there being a single challenging boss in this game, but I know the moment I take that for granted, like somebody is gonna hand me my entire ass. And chat's gonna laugh and I'm gonna feel like a moron and everyone's gonna have a good time and we can't have that. Second half of Symphony of the Night is you got all the mobility upgrades now, go nuts with them. Yeah. Whereas this one, we're still waiting. Um, I think it's just that one. I think it's just the super jump we're missing. I think there might be another whip attachment though. Hand me my entire ass is another way. To, well, yeah, I mean, if you got the whole thing crammed up there. I mean, it's basically just, yeah. Hand it over. No fun allowed. No pathos tonight, chat. We ain't doing it. All right, boss me. Also, also, also. Oh no, there is something past here. So maybe we get something cool for doing- Hey, I know you. Oh, I see you are still alive. Maxim, no, you're not Maxim. Ha, you're on to me. What the hell are you? I am myself. Just not the me you knew in the past. I'm me, but not me. This man's suppressed desires, coupled with his possession of Dracula's remains, gave rise to a separate spirit. And that other spirit is me. I'm not sure if he's even aware of my existence. And it was also you who kidnapped Liddy? Hehe, <laughs> of course it was my doing. She belongs to me. But he went and lost his memory and doesn't even know where she is. But he will retrieve his memory soon. When he does, she'll be all mine. If I recall, uh, in Symphony of the Night, you get the super jump relatively late. It's mostly for fun and just a few secret rooms. But here's, yes, yeah. Yeah, the original super jump was just a bonus. The gravity boots, you didn't need them because you got bat form. And you could just, I think, I think, yeah, there was like one or two rooms that you were supposed to get through, get to with gravity that you could kind of cheese with like infinite mist. But yeah, after after Circle of the Moon, it became a required mobility upgrade. I mean, cause they, 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 they stopped putting like power of bat and power of mist in cause you weren't playing as Alucard anymore. Kind of impressed how hard they committed to sexy close-ups given the graphics level the devs were working with. I know, right? I think it's an ego thing. Also, Justy is angrily jerking off at Maxim right now. I guess this is just how they, yeah, he's cranking it. Sure about that? <laughs> he's pretty sure. If I die, your best friend will perish with me. Arg! Your death is at hand. Die, you vile dog. Oh, oh, hey. I thought we were actually gonna fight. I thought we were actually gonna fight him, but no, we're fighting the thing from Link's Awakening. Evil dog, yeah, evil kitty, evil something, E. Ow! One room behind a waterfall you need, oh, you're right. Yeah, there's one room behind a waterfall you need boots for. That was a shitload of damage, holy God. Yeah, fuck your big stupid sword. Wait, did I beat him? Dude, I didn't even get to show you his third form. I apologize, except I don't, he sucks. Also, I'm excellent. All right, well, that was it. I think we had to do that? I think that was necessary. Yeah, it was the moth. Yeah, we skipped the moth. Sorry, I think it was Aku. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, shit. Imagine it's a more common thing to name your firstborn the reverse of your name. Oh God, my poor children. Being named Michael? What would that even be? Le, le, Leah, Leah, Leah Cam or something? Watch him. <laughs> yeah, Leah Sim, Leah Cam, Lake him.
Why does the Spriggan have no arms? Can somebody can somebody explain to me what a Spriggan is? Because I don't know. Hisidwa. Lake him? You actually had an employee name that? Makael. He got caught jerking. Bouncy jet armor. I didn't know Oddish was your last name. Yeah, that's me, dude. I started going by Oddish for everything in college because it's such a distinctive last name. So yeah. A lot of streamers, a lot of, a lot of internet personalities uh, do a lot to hide who they are. I absolutely don't. <laughs> I'm Michael Oddish. Hi, everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Docs plated games. I mean, that's the thing. Who gives a fuck? I'm some little itty bitty streamer at the ass end of Twitch. How often do people spell it like the Pokemon when they first meet you? Um, people used to get really confused by it. I remember uh, for a project in like third grade, we were supposed to email different state agencies to get like tourist information or something. Not, sorry, not email, physically mail. I, I grew up in the era of snail mail. Um, and the, whatever state I sent mine to is like Indiana or something. I wrote in cursive, and if you if you don't know, a cursive A is very round. So when they mailed me back, they mailed me back as Mr. Quaddish. I know a fellow went by the name Isto online, but his real name was, was Chris. Good for self-marketing, I guess. I mean, it keeps things consistent. I, I don't have to worry about updating my handle or anything. I think part of that, a long time ago, one of one of the inspirations that got me into into streaming and content creation was John Wolf. I don't I don't know if any of y'all watch him, but he's a he's a horror YouTuber and extremely occasional streamer. Oh God, I need to take double jump up into the into the. Uh, chapel i totally forgot about that but he like he was the first channel i really i really started watching on youtube and he used to have a handle he used to have a handle for his channel and then a couple years into it he ended up just changing it to his name because he said it was just it was simpler and easier to keep track of and stuff so i think that kind of influenced my decision when i started making content like i wanted i wanted to have a brand i didn't i didn't want to just be me which is why gold-plated games is a thing. <clears throat> but I also didn't want to hide who I was either. I wasn't I wasn't going to stress about that. John Will especially narrated him making fun of fake paranormal content. I saw that actually. I saw that I saw that he's, he started making different kinds of videos and it's doing well for him when I'm happy for him personally. <clears throat> I'm glad he can do what he wants. So what happened to your friend? I reckon it's not like Symphony of the Night where you need a special item to avoid accidentally killing Richter. Nah, it's like, it, it's like nothing special in this one. Hit card six. No, I can't reach that one. Damn it. Oh my God, I need to come back here with a super jump, you stupid game. Anyway, what does this hint card say? No, it's like the, the, the nightmare was like, ooh, you can't kill me without killing your friend. I think he was just bullshitting, honestly. I'm not actually sure that ever comes up again. Spriggans are one of the many gnome elves fairy creatures and they're often attributed with enormous strength through the ability to become temporarily gigantic. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Make him chug holy water. He'll be fine. Walk it off. It's Castlevania. Who the fuck hasn't been possessed by an evil spirit at this point? Justy's probably been possessed by like six or seven. Where's the other jet powered hopping armor because of reasons? Yeah. Don't question it. It is what it is. He am what he am. He knows it never possessed by an evil demon. Simon Belmont. He was cursed though. I think that was the trade off. Simon Simon got off easy without demon possession because he just got his ass straight up cursed. 
Has Dracula been possessed though? That's a good question. That's actually a decent question because they've they've tried some really goofy shit to revive him in between his uh, 100 year regeneration cycles. Apparently that Spriggan was a one-off, he didn't respawn. All right, anyway, I now have the ability to smash walls. I'm very excited about this. Hell, I'm being possessed by one right now, but I did it for funsies. You would, Chaos. That's your wheelhouse. I suppose you could argue that technically Dracula's been p possessed by Dracula. Jet fuel is expensive. All right, so, uh, we are currently in Castle B. We have been all, th we've been all through this area. We've been all over this place. <sighs> Interesting, the fast travel rooms actually persi persist in Castle A. We could actually try going back to Castle A and see if that would get us to a different place. In fact, I think we have to. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go in Castle B. So one thing, what woman would want to bang the Captain N version of Simon to pass on the Belmont line? Yeah. Uh, big question that I don't really want to spend <laughs> the brain power pondering. Because, uh, ew. GBA is basically an SNES in pocket form. Have you ever realized that? I have thought about that, yeah. It is, it is pretty comparable, isn't it? Which would explain why I am so very, very fond of the GBA. But it all, the GBA also what rose to prominence in a very different era when there was somehow even more like IP tie-ins being thrown around and the whole, the whole pre-rendered 3D aesthetic had caught on in the wake of Donkey Kong Country. And personally, sorry, Sorry to the fans, I don't like it. I really don't. Oh, I never, uh, I never read my card. Hint card six, the red book and the dagger share a secret. That's nice. Oh yeah, of course, less buttons. But yeah, the, that whole, that whole aesthetic with Donkey Kong Country and the pre-rendered 3D, I, I don't like it. Mar Mario RPG? We streamed Mario RPG years ago, years and years ago. And that was my chief complaint about that game is the graphics. Not even DK3. I I I didn't really I didn't really play the Donkey Kong Country games. I played the first one a bit. I don't think I've ever beaten it. And then I never played two or three or any of the other ones or anything. How the fuck does this room work? You have to play a uh, Carnage Rally for the meme factor one of these days, the meme being the cover. I was just calling out Donkey Kong, yeah. When I put when I put this video on YouTube, it's gonna be the title's gonna be all caps like hard truths is about Donkey Kong Country. And the screen cap is gonna be me going. See, I, I get how YouTube works. I'm just too lazy to do it. Look at this cover. I have to look at this cover. What you got? What you got, Pear? Oh my god, I've seen this before! <laughs> this is like the kind of cover that a Carmageddon game would have ironically. It's amazing. If I had a nickel for every time a protagonist with long white hair travels to Castle Dracula and destroy the counters being brought back by unsourceful meathead, including a pretty blonde comes between them. I'd only have 10 cents, but it's kind of sad that Egan did it twice. <laughs> you know, I've never played Brotato. Good call, Lodril. I've been a little curious about that one. All right, anyway, let's, let, let's return to our home sweet home of Castle A. Castle B is. I think the point of Castle B in this section was to get the was to get the crushing stone, so that we can start breaking down those walls wherever the hell they are. Apparently, a good game releases received well critically. 
Well, I certainly know nothing of it. As much as I like the GBI, I'd never had like a ton of games for it. I really need to broaden my horizons on that on that front. Right, SMB RPG fans is a big Super Mario, R Mario RPG ROM hack called Armageddon. I'd recommend. It's got some retooling, a huge post game, and tons more bosses and like. That's cool. I'm honestly looking forward to the remake. Because the remake is going to correct my one chief complaint with the game. The graphics. And that's honestly a pretty exciting proposition. I wouldn't be against playing it again, honestly. I guess I better save here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, one thing about the crushing stone, you can't you can't flaccid whip anymore. There's a big raid man coming, I bet the ROM hack is gonna get sued into oblivion then. Well y'all better download it and grab it while you can. Okay, there's actually a bunch of stuff I can do right now. Let me see if I can get into the lower area of this place. No, Justy, you fucking moron. I need to be checking all the places I've Damn it, no, not this one. Bad Justy. SMR PG remake Geno and Smash. Okay, it's here, God. Game really like, I'm sorry for going on so many tangents. Sky Force Reloaded. I have the strangest feeling that there was a wall here and it's just gone now. I think somehow splitting the castle just made that wall disappear. Hey look, it's a beast fountain. So what kind of game is Sky Force Reloaded? Also, also, Paris Salamanca and everybody else watching right now, never apologize for going on tangents. My favorite part of streaming is talking to y'all. The game, the games are forever secondary to whatever conversations we're having, which is why we end up with so many just chatting streams in, inadvertently. So don't ever apologize for going off on tangents. Shmup, okay. All right, we got, an, we got another ball run. I'm sorry for apologizing. You should be, you motherfucker. How dare you? Not like we have anything to talk about tonight, but tangents. Yeah. I mean, it's, Har Harmony of Dissonance doesn't exactly lend itself to a ton of conversation here. Like we've all, we've had the big reveal. We've already belabored the big reveal. We're now we're now doing the enhanced ball run, which I hope I can actually do. Oh shit, I might be fucked on this one. Oh, I might be super fucked on this one. Ah, catch up! Watch ho! No, not bone pillars. Oh my god, not bone pillars. Please, not bone pillars. Not bone pillars, bro. Not the bone pillars. Anything but the bone pillars. God damn it! There is no way I've got this. Unless this last part is like super easy or something. And it isn't. Damn it, I just missed it. Damn it, I just missed it. Oh, there's a book too. I think it's the lightning book. Canadian were famous for apologizing for some fucking reason. Guy against pillars of bone. They're in my way. They are in my way. You only get one chance? No, I can I can reset this room. I forget how exactly. But no, there's nothing permanently missable in this game. Thankfully. I hate that. Un un unless there's unless there's a real narrative or risk reward reason for that, I don't I don't like that. At all. Also, what the hell? Wait, how the hell do you get in there? Yeah, if you leave and come back through the main entrance, uh, it'll reset. Permit missable items stress you out. 
It's it's not the reason that I never finished it. Wait, hang on. Aha, there it is. Okay, I figured it out. We don't have an air dash now, and I don't think we ever will either. Hey, oh my God. One of the six items you need to beat the game is hidden in here. Like that's kind of bonkers, honestly. One of the submachine games has one or two permanently missable extras that drove me nuts. It's it's not the reason that I didn't finish it, but um, uh, the original Trails in the Sky had a bunch of missable quests that made me pretty sad. Like a huge a huge amount of the side content in in that game is is permanently missable. Which sucks because it's it's a very it's a very rich and colorful world and you want to experience as much of it as you can when you're playing through it. Submachine so was kind of a crazy series in terms of flash games, far more mature and, and interesting than a lot of its peers. I've only played Lodrill High. I have Lodrill High to thank for putting me on Submachine. And I've only streamed one night of them, but I really like them. I'm a big fan of those of those uh, that style of flash game. Like I really like the if y'all know the the Deep Sleep series or the uh, Don't Escape series, I am very big fan of those. Actually, now I'm wondering if I can just clear all this shit out and then reset it from this side, since the door is closed. Very much looking forward to Steam release. Me too. Remind me to stream it when that happens, Lodger High. I would be very happy to do that. Oh, it's already, it's already set. Shit. Oh, you know what? I just realized if I had the cross, this would be so much easier. I just put up like the big fucking cross force field and we'd be set. Damn, man. I just like, believe me, I just want to cheese this. I don't want to challenge myself. I want to cheat myself and the game. Shit! Come on, man, we got this. I believe in us. Oh, I believe in us. Oh, the ball is so slow going up. Oh, but so are we. Oh, Jesus. Shit. 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 Oh, God, I'm gonna get it. Ah, I did it. Oh, God. Today I found out the beloved game that died with Flash is not actually dead. Isn't that a nice feeling? Isn't isn't it great to find out that those that those games have actually survived? That dude, that was incredible. I thought I was gonna die. I thought that that I thought the ball was gonna hit me before I executed the slide, and I thought it was gonna just gonna crush me against the wall. <sighs> okay. Anyway, let's try the. Okay, we're only missing one book now. Let's see what this does. Sunda. Why the same reason rooms do decahedrons? I love that we get this question every single night. Um, it's because they were dodecahedrons in Symphony of the Night. That's it. <laughs> That's the only reason. They're just they're just aping the the weird aesthetic of Symphony of the Night because Ega made Symphony of the Night and Ega made this game. So yeah. Except in Symphony of the Night they were really cool because they broke apart and then reformed as a big coffin around Alucard. But in this game, they have no reason. They have no point. They're they're there because Symphony of the Night. They they're what we call member berries now. Still mourning the whole collection of uh, Tomatea room escapes that were lost. Oh, I guess I never played those. Guess I missed out. Have you ever played Die Anstalt? No, never even heard the name. 
Not even sure you could call it a game per se. Interesting. Tenshi at least put some on Android. Presumably the Doha Deca Eagerns is something of the night because look what we can do with 3D ga graphics isn't cool. That's exactly what they were there for. Precisely. Um I guess let's go down. Let's see if we can get into the lower area. Your psychiatrist, you work in asylum for stuffed animals. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Slowly help him through the various neuroses and psychoses through assorted therapy. That's cute. I like that. I made another Phantom Tobu movie in the current year. They made one already. It wasn't all that. You know what? I'm gonna go around the other way. I, I've so decided. All right, so this is this is the Sky Garden we're familiar with. So I want to check the room on the other side of the save room, certainly. And then we should check the boss room where he fought uh, the nightmare. Oh, it's just open now. More medicine. Wait, medicine jars must be consumables. I must have lied to y'all. Yep, there it is. Contains medicine that makes you invincible at a set time. No, not at a set time. For a set time. We have to deal with this awkward ass localization uh, with Korean too. Um, but in Korean and I guess Japanese, they like to say that things that work for a limited time work for a set time or at a set time, which on its face makes sense. Like this medicine jar is gonna make you invincible for like 10 seconds or something. That is a set time. However, we don't say that in English. So we always have to correct the translators on that. You're invincible at 2.47 PM. Exactly, Dave. Exactly. Finally leaving the eastern end of the castle two hours in the stream. No, we're actually not. <laughs> I, I hope we get to the other parts of the castle, but I honestly can't promise you anything at this point. I don't know if they're gonna throw another wrench in the works when I get to the underground area. I mean, honestly, there's not that many wrenches they can throw in here anymore. Oh, I know you. Justy. Maxim, it's really you this time, right? So I see you've run into my other self. Yeah. I see, I was nearly taken over by him. Dracula's strength was so overwhelming. Don't say that, you must stay strong. Listen to me, when he brought Liddy to this place, he hid her in a castle forged from the fabric of my mind. By losing my memory, I protected her, but I think I've reached my limit. She's in the Lord's room. With this bracelet, you can gain entrance as well. I can't just leave you lying here like this. You must, we can't let him get a hold of Liddy. I got it. Once I've saved Liddy, I'll, I promise I'll come back for you. Go now. It's up to you. All right. I got MK's bracelet. Invincible on the second Tuesday of June. Doesn't the indolent, lazy Western wizardry schedule its magic properly? Mortal Kombat! Have y'all heard in Mortal Kombat is the weirdest goddamn thing. Apparently in MK1, like player one, gets advantages that player two doesn't? I've never heard of that in a fighting game. Like, it's not even like right side versus left side. It's like, if you are player one, certain combos will work for you and they won't work for player two. Like, just straight up. I, I, I mean, the recent MK1. Stupid, stupid naming conventions. Everything is old is new again. Yeah, you have to specify now. It's like Doom and Doom 2016.
I wish they stopped doing that, honestly. MK 1.2, MK 1.2. That's weird. No, it's all platforms apparently. I don't think anybody is actually playing it on the Switch. Like the Switch looks too goddamn goofy. Now I get it. Ready Player Two is somehow way worse book than Ready Player One was. <laughs> Oh, chat, you cads. Oh, what does this do? I mean, that's kind of neat, I guess. Whatever, I don't care. Can I attempt to get from Switch just on it's such a blazing dumpster fire? It does look pretty amazing. To be fair. Making a game called Tube 2016 just to confuse people. Making a game called Doom 2016 in 2023. Just to be silly. Oh, I guess I did come up here when I had double jump. Which means I guess I missed some other stuff then. That! Okay, Dracula's goddamn eyeball is up there and we're gonna need that. So we have two of Dracula's relics and we know where a third is. Right, we've already been all up in here. It is locked with a magical spell. Put your fucking bracelet on, buddy boy. Held Maxim's bracelet above head. Dun Ooh, the cross, what does this do when it's electrocuted? Oh, it's the item crash. Okay, cool. So part of MK1 is apparently exceptionally buggy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, that's not how you get in there. All right, we got another teleport room. Hint card three. Kneel before the round gate to be taken to a different place. Kneel, you say? Oh, fuck, I remember this now. Okay, okay, okay. So actually, these do work as fast travel rooms, but they also work as swapping you between castles. Curious to see how well the Saints for the third port runs on Switch. Is that, a, is that a new development? Is that a new thing that's coming? All right, this is just open. And there's a big old skeleton here. And a mystical robe. And a knife, I don't want the knife. Rip the Saints Road team, yeah. It's a shame, it's a shame the, the newest Saints Row went over so poorly. I mean, if, if, it's a, if it's a bad game, it's a bad game, you know? But, still. I don't think it's necessarily bad, maybe his time has passed. I'm not talking about Saints Row 3. Saints Row 3 is great. Uh, I played through Saints Row 3 a, a while back and really, really enjoyed it. I'm talking about the newest Saints Row, the unnumbered Saints Row. All right, I am gonna go save and then we're gonna go fight that boss and see what happens. This is not the room I wanna be in. Oh, you too, oh. God, when did that come out? It hadn't actually occurred to me that time had passed. <laughs> I'd be the burn brighter than maybe it deserved. Definitely punch above his weight for a while. Yeah, Saints Row 3 and 4 were like crazy high profile. I guess I guess buoyed by the the, the sleeper hit nature of Saints Row 2. Um let me put I'm gonna put both their bracelets on because I think there's a reason to do that or some shit. Saints Row 2 that recently had had what? Oh, I should watch that. 
I love Matt McMuscles. I, I religiously watch his uh, The Worst Fighting Game series. That shit is so funny. I feel like I did where they should have stopped and went a bit further. I've always kind of lamented the fact that I only played Saints Row 3. And like, I think I've owned like the complete version of Saints Row 4 for like years now. And just never, never bothered to actually play it. Matt's great. Also, the only other person that seems to love Final Fight as much. Yeah, definitely. Save room option on the menu, do is that that's a suspend. Yeah, I think all of the GBA Castlevanias have a suspend. If I remember correctly. Uh oh. Oh God, we broke it. It's Pazuzu. Suck Christ. Pazuzu that! Never let me hear you say so Christ again. No promises, buddy. No promises, not even for you. Actually, especially not for you. Nah, you can't. Oh god, it hurts. Oh god, okay, he's dead. Never mind. Lol, Lamau, he's dead. Excellent! Liddy! Justy, is it really you, Justy? Are you alright? Are you injured? I'm fine. Maxim had me tucked safely away here. Oh, I see. Didn't he come with you? Maxim's waiting for us outside, I think. Hey, what happened to the person that brought me to this place? You mean that you don't know who it was that kidnapped you? Until Maxim came to my rescue, I, I was blindfolded. I see. Okay, let's try to get out of this place. Yes, let's go. So, this is where you've been hiding. He too is a bold man. You know, Otters, I assume you're Canadian for some reason. Why? Because I'm so fucking nice? <laughs> no! Liddy! I shall have this maiden for myself. Gross! Death, you can't do that. Just do! Just do! Not all polite, du polite pale dudes are Canadians. That's racist. I wish I knew why. He's so angry about this, he started jerking it again. Damn, I must hurry after them. Aha! Door open. I told you! There's like one button per side. It's really annoying. Because <laughs> the top of your head moves when you talk. Because I look like a flip top trash can when I talk, is that it? All right, anyway. Gravy and cheese curds plated games. Um, well now we have access to this whole section of Castle A. Now we can enter the central shaft chat. And I suppose that's what we're doing. So yeah, it's uh, it's true actually. We are escaping the eastern wing of the castle at long last. After two long hours of stream captivity. We shall descend the central shaft into the gonads of the castle. We work the shaft in the channel. Sounds like you're referring. <laughs> hey there! It sounds like you're referring to male genitalia. Can we help you with that? Uh, heart zero two four six eight. Who do we appreciate? 
Not the fucking merchant in this game. I saw that in deep southern accent. That sounds like you are referring to male genitalia. Do you know what that room means? I really don't. I think I think it has something to do with the merchant, but I've I've never figured it out, and I'm not I've never bothered to look it up. Huzzah! Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. Five books, five sub weapons? Dagger, axe, holy water, craw. No, there's more than five sub weapons. There's six? Yeah, lay it on me, Manic. I've always been curious. Merchant doesn't show up unless you have an even number of hearts. <gasps> no! Holy shit, really? That's kind of amazing. All right, boss room. New boss room get. That's cool, I had no idea. Thanks, Manic. And Nemrin for guessing correctly. There's another one like it. Wait, we already did this one. Dude, it's Minotaur level two. Dude, it's Minotaur level two. With his big floppy ball. Minotaur new Minotaur 2 Moritar. The bosses in this game suck. Straight up. There's another place where only show up your levels an odd number. Ah, okay. Cool. This is the steel tip. Adds a steel ball to the tip of the whip, amazing. That's it, now I, now I have a big stupid chonky whip. I think this maybe makes the whip significantly stronger. I can't remember exactly. I don't think it unlocks anything though. Really the only thing we, we need right now is the super jump. Did you ever play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? I did. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is fantastic. I love that game. Here is another very tall room. Yeah, Bloodstained is wonderful. Also, shop that only unlocks if you're level 50 or higher and sells pretty damn broken item. Oh, really? No kidding. What item would that be? Because I guarantee you we're not going to see it on the stream. I can promise you that. Infinite boots allow Jesse to jump as many times as like in the air for 12,000 gold. Wow! I actually didn't know they ever put an item like that in a Castlevania. That's really interesting. I know one of the final bosses in these games is a hard wall for me. Can't remember this one. It, it had to be... Wait, this is Harmony. It was probably an Aria. Aria, Aria had some legit challenge to it. This game did not. <laughs> you gotta mean it, because, like, level 50. Yeah, I'm what? Level... I'm level 29. Actually, when we, when we quit out of here, let me check and see what level my... Um, the, the, the account I, I did 100% on is. Because actually, in that case, I might not have 100%ed it. If I didn't get him to level 50, then I wouldn't have gotten the last item in the game. So you're telling me Ego simply was off his game while designing this? What happens to all of us, I suppose? He was... He was... Overreacting to... 
uh, Circle of the Moon, very clearly. There's no companion spirits in this game too. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a lot to deal with, truthfully. Well, last one be here to see you. Good night. Good night, Manic. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, thanks for the tidbits. Thanks for the advice. Greatly appreciate it. Have a good one. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. I wonder why they envisioned Gorgons as like big stone breathing cows. Why would have a circle of the moon? So Circle of the Moon was not made by Ega. It was made by a different team, and it was the first real follow-up to Symphony of the Night. Um, and it was, by all accounts, a good game. People liked it. It was solid. The big the big complaint about it though is that it has a very dark aesthetic. And on the unbacklit GBA, it was fucking impossible to see what you were doing. Um, Iga famously was not a fan of it. He did not like it. And he had many problems with it. One of the problems with it was, a, was the story, which he officially decanonized in the, uh, in the Castlevania timeline. He didn't like the card system, which to be fair, I didn't like the card system. Um, and so ultimately he just kind of decided to make his own better Circle of the Moon. And that's how we got Harmony of Dissonance. That's why everything is like blindingly Technicolor. That's why Justy has a bright blue outline. That's why there's a different sub-weapon system. That's why a lot of things are different in this game. And honestly, he was overcompensating overreacting. This game has a lot of good ideas, but their implementation is deeply, deeply flawed. It's sort of familiar. I'm helping! Uh, the odd thing is in D&D &D, there is a Gorgon, there's also a big metal bull. Oh, uh, okay. There are some things in, in Castlevania that are pulls from D&D, &D, certainly. Oh no, it's totally possibly ominous and full Technicolor, but this game is just straight garish. Like, the color palette in this game is yes. It was, what colors should we focus on for each of the areas? And the answer was yes. All of the above, please. Certainly the moon with blackjack and hookers, but there are too many hookers. Unfortunately. All right, we are, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm pretty sure the catacombs is where we need to go. Mmm, baby. Um, is it boner land that we need to go to? Or, fuck, I can't remember. It doesn't look bad. Parts of it don't look bad. Also, we made adjustments to the emulation to make it less bright because it was just like eye searing and painful before that. Ah, the tchotchke room. Look at this shit chat. We got a big scary headed dude to greet you followed by a lucky cat. Our table is all set up with chairs and the bowl. We got a big spoopy picture, a giant uh, chandelier. We got our elk head. We got a silver candelabra. We have a tanuki with massive testicles, some, uh, a bust of some other guy, a grandfather clock, a radio, end table, rocking chair. We got a bed. It's all coming together, man. Does Jesse even know what a tanuki is? He shouldn't, honestly. <laughs> Him, him being a Eastern European weirdo from the, what, 1700s, 1800s? I forget when Simon's period was. Moment Animaniacs where Slappy holds up Puff Snack with the oddest shade of origin. She goes, no, there's a color found in nature. 1400s, thank you. Yeah, I can't remember when any of this shit happens. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh God, I wish I knew if I, 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 wish I, knew if I was supposed to go left or right. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna left. We're gonna we're gonna go into boner territory. Back to boner lands. 
or the alternate boner lands. Alice in Bonerland. Pretty sure somebody's made that DVD. This is, yes, this is all new, okay. Ah, the, well, this is interesting. The, the skeleton spiders are gone and actually this version of it is a lot easier. We got a phonograph. What's the difference between a phonograph and a gramophone? I know there's some AV nerd in chat that's gonna be able to tell me the difference. Don't even front. I know you're there. Uh, yes, we're gonna go, well, we're gonna go up and get the lightning robe. Difference, difference between a phonograph and a gramophone. Oh, we have an arthroskeleton now. I was wrong. They do have skeleton spiders and they're even more horrifying now. Oh, I don't need to jump to hit him. How foolish of me. I'm here for the answer. Lay it on me, Ralnabor. Oh no, you're here to hear the answer, aren't you? I misunderstood. In the, 1800, in the 1890s, Emil Berliner initiated the transition from phonograph cylinders to flat disc with a spiral groove running from the periphery to near the center. Coining the term gramophone for disc record players which is predominantly used in main. Ah! Phonographs use cylinders, gramophones use discs. Thank you, arcane tradition. Has your name ever been more appropriate than it is right now? Oh god, giant Skullington head. Oh wow, that's a lot of money. You also made the donut. <laughs> ah, Eek B9 Berliner. We've we've all been well shit. No, it's John F. Kennedy. We've all been thoroughly edified tonight. Even if your name is not Ed. Poor Skellington Spider. Poor stupid Skellington Spider. No wonder they didn't show up in subsequent games. Imbibe, unfortunately, I'm out of cocktail. So I need to do some nice healthy hydration, which is good because I do have to work tomorrow. Thank you for caring enough, Ninja Zombie. Your middle, your middle name is Ed, nice. I don't really know any Edwards. I used to work with an Eddie. And he would always, this poor guy walked right into it. He would always get spaghetti for lunch, so we called him Eddie Spaghetti. Because, I mean, y you kind of have to at that point, don't you? It would almost be weird if you didn't. I have an answer to who shot JFK. Nobody's head just did that. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the crushing stone. Got the noodles. Got the nudes. Nudes, please. Aral no Ed Ibor. Aral no. You know. I've always, been, I've always called you Aralnabor, but that's not your name. It's Aran, Aran Olbor. Oh my God. Why didn't you stop me? Zai, Captain Vegetable. <laughs> you got it. It only took a couple years, I think, but we finally arrived. Oh my lord. And and I pride myself on my ability to pronounce people's like Twitch profile names. But oh my god, I've just been fucking yours up for an eternity and didn't even realize it. I've had people call me Pearls of Salamance. <laughs> and many beers and some tequila into the night and I'm having a great time. Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. 
I am half tempted to go get another cocktail, but that would ab absolutely ruin me for work tomorrow, so. I shall refrain and drink that much more tomorrow night. Ha ha! We shall celebrate the twilight of this game together. Isn't that the lol what pair? Is it? Oh shit it is, there you go. Another mystery solved. Hey chat, you like boxes, right? Big, big fan of box puzzles? I sure do love me some box puzzles. Glad I remember how these work too. Like for example, this one, if you push that lower box all the way against the little wall there, you fucked it. You can't do it. You gotta push this over first, because otherwise it'll end up even and you can't get that one off of there. Man, there is nothing I like more than pushing boxes in a Castlevania game. It's what I live for. Hey, it's a, oh my God. It's skeleton glass. It's like a mutant skeleton. It has a really horrifying head. It's just a giant eyeball, I think. This is a pretty good, a pretty good example of a good idea that's just thoroughly overused. Like, ooh, neat! Like monster popping out of the its containment thing, but then they just do it like five or six times in a row, and that's it. That's it. We'll never see them again unless we go back through that hallway. Ah, here we go. Crying, crying eyes lady. No eyes, white lady. I'm gonna be so sad if, that, if this isn't the way I was supposed to go. And I just slam into a dead end. I did accomplish some stuff down here though. I did, I did break down a wall that I can then pass through in Castle B. That we'll need to do at some point. Okay, where the hell are we? Okay, um, let's see. All right, there's probably a boss here. There's probably a boss. Imagine you cried and a skeleton came out. Because, I mean, the skeleton that comes out is probably going to be your own, honestly. And yeah, that sounds hella painful. All right, we got boss. We got book. Do we want book? Oh my god, it's the Gradius Barrier. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. I'm not gonna use it, but that's cool. Hey, we know this guy. All right, I know what you're thinking. Two legions? Yes, two legions. This is Legion Corpse. And yeah, he's super juicy this time. Instead of being made of like a ton of corpses, He's just the one in there. And basically you gotta you gotta split him open split him open and hit him in the skeleton. Oh god, he spooged all over me. Okay. Uh and okay, we, we still got a fair bit of uncurse. I'm sure it'll be fine. Man and crying with tears form a nice sculpture of the thinker by Audrey. I don't know why you would, but just do it. Man, is really saying something that the game that has two different concepts of Legion in it has the worst bosses? There's legions of legion as it hurt as it turns out. And there's a cool ass portal that you can't pass through. Total total tease. <gasps> Cypher's charm. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Speeds up the rate at which MP are restored. Fuck me. That is not what I wanted. Hey, nice portrait of a femur on the back wall there. So, shit. 
this was not the correct way to go. I was I was seeking an a mobility item and I got nothing. I got enhanced MP charge, which I mean is not a bad thing. Oh my god, it's a mimic! He's adorable. And he doesn't exist anymore. Goodbye. MPR restored, technically grammatically correct, but it just looks wrong. Yes. Agreed. There we go. Sorry, did I solve that puzzle too fast for you? Did I just blaze through that one? Well, you know. Can't really help it. King Card 5, they say there's a book with the power to summon monsters. Rare ring. What'd it do? What'd it be? Increase the appearance rate of rare items. Give it. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put the lucky ring on. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. All in. Let's do the let's do the lucky charm too. I'm curious what the DS game Ego Design is like. Didn't Ego Ego worked on all of them, didn't he? Ego Ego worked on all three of the uh, the DS games, if I remember correctly. They all feel like his games, certainly. He gets a ring with rare meat on it. Fairs ran a luck build in Dawn of Sorrow outside of bosses too. Well, in Dawn, like, it was never as important as it was in Dawn. It was wildly important to run luck in Dawn because you needed so much of everything. You needed multiple souls, you needed... You needed multiple, uh, weapons. It was crazy. I may have already screwed this one. I don't think you're actually supposed to drop them in there. I think you're supposed to do this one first. Yeah, I think I screwed this one. Yeah, you just you just need one. Man, Dawn God. I talked about this last night. Dawn of Sorrow was so close to just being perfect. It was so close to being the best Castlevania, but they made they made so many choices that were just bad. I was a patch of that game and includes custom art to replace the anime art with the Aria of Sorrow Star. Oh, nice! Yeah, that was another big drawback of Dawn. They couldn't, <coughs> they couldn't get the artist back. Uh, I may have screwed this as well. Chat, I'm smart enough for this. I'm telling you. I can do this. This is what we call the fuck Sokoban scenario. I just can't. I can do this, I just can't remember how exactly. Shit. Jump to the left and a step to the right. I just need to get one crate over there. Just one crate. I, I, bro, I just need one crate. One crate, bro. Just one crate. Just give me one crate and we got this. I hate knowing that all the pieces of the puzzle are right there and knowing they fit with any, any contours in my brain but not being able to execute. Just lift it. Mm, what if it's, um... Bop it! Twist it! 
See, this isn't gonna ha this isn't gonna work either. Because that's just gonna get stuck next to it. Talos Principle is a pretty insidious puzzle game. I love the Talos Principle. Really looking forward to the sequel coming out. Really quite looking forward to that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I got this, maybe I don't. Did we do a smart? No, we're doing a dumb right now. Just Karate's is such an underrated video game writer. Dude, if anybody watching right now has not played the C, the C will claim everything, please play it. It is really, really good. It is really exceptionally good. Um, I, maybe like, if you, mm, No, it's gonna be in like exactly the same spot, right? Cable being silly to you wrote for a serious Sam game. Yeah, you can't push the crates once there are crates on them. Chat, is one of you, is one of you in the peanut gallery smarter than me? Can you figure this out? Because I am just being really dumb right now. How do you do it? I am ready. I'm so ready to not be in this room anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, 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 wait. I think I got it. Actually, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, okay. Man, I'm dumb. I tried Serious Sam the first encounter console numerous times. The more I play it, the more I wonder if it's possible for me to overcome the skill issue, even if... Uh, um, I need I need to push that one further over, didn't I? Yeah, okay. All right, we're almost there. Progress. Progress is being made, chat. Seriously, Sam, the first encounter is encounter design is a type of fuck to a certain point that I can't continue with it. It is pretty hard. It is pretty hard. Smart gooder? I don't know how. I'm not equipped for this. I came to a battle of wits unarmed. Hooray! Huzzah! Victory! Oh, you're up here. Fuck off. Floodgate key? I got a what? Enter the lion's cross in the cavern. Okay, whatever. As well designed, but it's as the kids say these days, cock and ball torture. It is as the kids say. Oh, those kids with their cock and ball torture. The point thing to give you a gold star on it. I would say I would say we need some kind of like channel point thing to give me a gold star, but no one would ever use it. I know that. 
I know that. Where are we at anyway? We are currently 139.1% completion. You already have it. I'd give you a gold star all the time. All right, you say that. Did Buster just supposed to be a hydrate? Buster and Ninja Zombie right here looking out for my health. Um, it is locked. Boy howdy, it is locked. And also I can't get further up here. The question marks, I love question marks. Cool, this is great. I'm really happy to have hit another dead end. And now I have to backtrack all the way back through Bonerland. All like the way through Bonerland. This game is fucking incredible, but at least love Fedora. You got a point there, Chief. You got a point there. Ah, there we go. All right, gumshoes. Let's explore a section of the castle we've definitely been through like three times already. Is that Hudson Hawk over here? I love that movie, by the way. I, I don't care what people say about it. I don't, I don't care how bad it is. I love that movie. As far as the password number Mambo are we even up to though? I guess one, if that. I mean, you can't exactly go negative with Mambos, right? They would just, they would simply cease to be. Okay, if you've never seen Hudson Hawk, go into it with the understanding that it's a pretty garbage movie, but an intensely entertaining one. Like, I, I will straight up recommend it. It is, it is hilarious. I mean, it is, it is Bruce Willis and Mandy Patinkin just devouring the goddamn scenery. The, the villains are insane, the story is insane, the cast is insane, everything about it is just like bonkers. What's up Kratos, how you doing tonight bud? Oh, these guys actually did get to do something. Saw a garbage movie that wasn't entertaining recently, so I'll take it. What was your garbage, unentertaining movie? Reveal to me the name of this garbage that we should all avoid. Uh, what room is this? Can't go this way. I mean, as I was the pod generation, it was like a dollar store, black mirror for an hour and 40 minutes. Oof. Bean the movie sucked. I think the last bad movie I watched was uh, The Vastness of Night. Or, or like In the Vast of Night or whatever it was. Man, like it was such a promising movie. I think I talked about this when I came back from Japan. Cause I watched it with Not a Roguelike when I was visiting him. Like, I had heard really good things about it, that it was like really, really atmospheric and really well done. Well, shit. Jesus rejects your arrows. Um, but man, it was just such a waste of time. All the, all the shots were just like, the shots were seriously like 10 minutes longer than they needed to be. It was absurd how long the shots in that movie were. All right, where the hell am I? I am here. All right, we're going... I mean, fuck it, we're going the other way. If the thing I need ain't there, maybe it's here. I like The Vast of Night. I think the director had more potential, better things I admit it, but I liked it. I mean, look, if you liked it, I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong or anything, but God, we were so bored. 
And like, I, I am a huge sucker for atmosphere and I did love the atmosphere, but the way that movie was shot just got really tedious for me. Stop bringing out the dead and lull the main character. She just quit way earlier. I think Inception is overrated. And you know, I could kind of see that. I could kind of see that. I think in Inception's really, really good, but people definitely did treat it like like the second coming of Christ or something. Is Jerry saying you're wrong? I think Fight Club is overrated. Sucker for naturalistic dialogue and moving the vast night have that. It did it that. It did it that. Uh, I will definitely give you that one. So yeah, if that's your weakness, then yeah. I could definitely see the Vassal Knight doing it for you. Alright, how is this place laid out? Well, we might as well go ahead and just fucking fill this in. It's cool the way people were talking about it. It was, uh, like it was just Dream's little nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Another $400. Think thinking things are overrated is overrated. When did I get the jump kick? Was that with the double jump? Chicken leg was deformed. Somebody had already taken a big ass bite out of it. Jesse doesn't care. He comes from a long line of floor eaters. There's there's no five second rule for them. It's 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 a lifetime. It's a way of life. It's just the people talking. I get that at home, buddy. Watch trailer for Hudson Hawk, and that was interesting. It's such a weird movie, dude. They got this insane, like, star-studded cast, and then gave them just the most bonkers, nonsensical plot to act out. It's kind of wild. It always fascinates me, like, how movies like that even get made in the first place. Memento was a really cool movie when it came out. I've only ever seen Memento once, and yeah, it was cool. It was it was definitely cool moving. Ow, my face! For Christ's sake. This is such an irritating way to do it. Accessibility. Tommy Boy is about guys trying to sell brakes. God damn it! Will you just fuck off? Oh my god. This isn't that complicated. How's it not partially got made that way because it was Bruce Willis' vehicle and he couldn't make up his damn mind or what he wanted the movie to be? So it'll be everything! Okay, uh. uh, uh um. This will pop through here real quick. Not a huge fan of unreliable point of view or narration. I feel suckered instead of just misled. I like it. I like it personally because the narrator becomes a character. The narrator themselves become a character as, as, as flawed and unreliable as any other character. And it adds an extra layer to the storytelling in, in, in the film or whatever it is. Quentin Tarantino makes some of the best movies. It has been, admittedly, a long time since I last saw a Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, I'm actually trying to remember what the last one I saw is. It might not have been since college. I saw Reservoir Dogs, I saw Pulp Fiction, I saw Kill Bill. Might be it? I was going to see Jackie Brown and I never did. I love this movie, it's definitely not for everyone. Yes, yeah, definitely. There is a lot going on that you might not be on board with. I mean, I feel, I feel like Pulp Fiction has some sections in it that just straight up have not aged well. Vivica, yeah, Vivica Fox.
Love Mr. Wolf from Pulp, Fic Pulp Fiction. He is great. He is a great part of that movie. Real Real Scene is not one of those that hasn't wait is not one of those that hasn't aged well. It took me a second to parse what you're saying there. Grammar is hard. As, as an editor, I can definitely agree with you on that. Grammar, grammar hard. Some might say grammar bad. Gimsine messed up a friend of mine. He was a kid when he saw it. Yeah, that, um, that's kind of what I was thinking of. I feel like that scene cannot have aged well. I feel like I would be deeply uncomfortable during that. English, English is not just ridiculous. English is awful. Ooh, boss. What do you got? Oh, get on, sucker. Talos. Boy, boy, boy good, good thing, good thing they didn't finish your ankle there, chief. Or I would be in big trouble. But if not English, what should we speak? I don't know, fucking sensible ass language? Something where the tenses and the spelling make sense? Ow! Christ! Stop hitting me with things! Did you just try to poke me? Uh, go away, you're a little too close, Chief. Well, honestly, chat, this is probably the most creative boss in the game so far, and that's really not saying much. It is really not saying much. That was it. <laughs> he just went plop. Cool. I am pretty cool, chat. That's true. <gasps> no! I need the high jump. Oh my god! I need the. Oh my god! And oh my god! I need the fucking high. Chat! I need the fucking high jump. Chat! I need the fucking high jump. Lola Vampire Slayer says that was cool, bro. I'm <laughs> pretty badass. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Save! Ega, my dude, why would you build a cave like this? Yeah, now I need to remember I need the high jump there, too. God Christ. Life is so hard. Who remembers what we're doing right now? Who, who remembers where we're at in the plot? Isn't he one more relic? I mean, to to get places. In in terms of mobility, I need one more relic. But who who remembers what we're actually looking for in terms of the story? You get the Mario RPG remake? I very well might. Um, the Mario RPG remake basically alleviates the one big complaint I had about that game originally. Is which is, I hate the fucking graphics. Bit sidetracks as Hudson Hawk was mentioned, not a clue. We're looking for Liddy. Yeah, death double kidnap Liddy. Since evil Maxim isn't a thing anymore, I think. 
Death took over kidnapping duties for Liddy. So now she's double damseling. We're not dating Maxim, yeah. Dude, dude's, dude's got a whole bunch of issues he needs to work out. I mean, seriously, read the stream title. I wasn't kidding. Hey! So we meet again. Glad to see you looking well. What can I do for you? Well, first of all, I'm going to sell you this turquoise I'm holding. <laughs> uh, what you got there, champion? Ceramic mail. Armor crafter from material that modern alchemists can't comprehend. What do you think of games where it's pre-rendered, but uh, instead it's claymation? That's age well. Claymation photography games is crazy. I think claymation does look good. I, I think claymation has a timeless appeal to it. See, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely think that's aged better. I would buy that stupid hat just to burn it. Not a fan, are we? Yeah, physicality to claymation, indeed. Ah, floodgate key was used. Immense water drained away somewhere. Where have we seen immense water, chat? Have we seen immense water? I also met your buzz died, so excuse me. Wallace and Gromit was except exceptionally well made for sure. Try to get out some of those boxes where you can stick your hand in Phil's brains. It's actually spaghetti. We need to find six of those. All right, hang on a sec. I may not be able to fedora completely tonight. If that's the case, you'll get you'll get a refund on your coins. Don't don't you worry, none. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I could try to stream like this for a while, but uh. As soon as I start gesticulating wildly again, things are gonna go south real fast. Nice Jamiroquai impression. Actually, I'm I'm trying to do the Tane. I'm, I'm I'm trying to do the hat waggle. Makes you look like you got a tall head. More ancient armor, damn. All right, uh, well this is a bust. There is another section we can check. I make a horror game one day where the visual style is inspired by early CGI from like the 80s and early 90s, the weird uncanny early. Dude, like Legends of, uh, not Legend, uh, like Beyond the Mind's Eye and Lawnmower Man, shit like that. I would be 100% down for that. That would be amazing. Huzzah! No, you just, just, you're not dying here. Not tonight. Yeah, ouchies indeed. Those guys are not fucking around. Yeah, dude, pair that would be amazing. That would be amazing. And it seems it seems like a very unexplored frontier right now. Like it 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 feels it feels adjacent to like PS1 horror right now, but definitely not the same thing. You're right about you're right about the the uncanny aspect of it. Like there was something very, very otherworldly about that era of CGI. And I mean, they knew it too. That's why they produced those mind's eye videos. Like it wasn't supposed to look like real grounded shit. It was weird. That was the point. Phantasmagoria, the game scared the crap out of you as a kid. Oh, I bet. I bet, dude, I bet if I had played like the, the seventh guest as a kid, it would freak me the fuck out. And then we streamed it last year, and it was hilarious. It was campy as fuck. I got arm plates and leggings. Oh, good. Another pallet swap. 
The Blaze Master. Kind of CGI is really, yeah, it's really good for surreal stuff for sure. Okay, these guys don't jump over you. They're annoying. How'd you block that? What a piece of shit. Oh, he's stuck somehow. I don't understand how you get stuck like that. Remember that game in Mist? Mist is a game that I really want to revisit. Holy shit, there's a boss? All right, sure, why not? Fuck it. Oh, it's death. So this is where you were. Return Liddy to me. Fear not, that maiden is now with Maxim. Also, stop jerking off, it's really distracting. But why? <laughs> Leave Liddy out of this. That maiden will play an essential role in the completion of this castle. What do you mean by that? This castle is in a transient state and is preparing for my lord's resurrection. However, the castle is not complete until these two castles have merged. In short, we must rid of your dear friend's spirit. We must rid of your dear friend's spirit. Maxim is a man of great strength. It won't be too easy to do his plan. Beating it like he owes him money. He was born of my lord, so of course he knows ways to reinforce his power. Why is death the exposition guy? Because they don't have a dark priest known as Shaft in this. They don't have Shaft, they don't have Camilla. Death is the death is the only Castlevania mainstay they have in this one. When something is dear to you, its effect upon you becomes immeasurable. No, surely not. Not Liddy's blood. Stay away from her! Do not interfere now. I will extinguish the candle of your soul. What's he do? What are you doing? Oh, Christ. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's just some lazy, lazy beams. Man, I really wish I'd cross right now. Um, I forget what the wind version was. I mean, that's actually fairly useful. You are... Ow. I mean, that got him right in the... Right where it needed to, honestly. I like the way his sleeves flare out when he does that. Ow! You fuck. Ow! I'm fuck it. I'm using an elixir chat. This is how much I've grown as a person. I'm not gonna save them all at the end of the game and not use them. Boom! Elixir used. Deal with it, chat. Can't have your elixir and drink it too. Boom! Get fucked, nerd. Rarg. Oh no! Okay. This is maybe the coolest looking boss in the game. The Deathipede. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh shit, 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 Looks like we're using another elixir. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh shit, shit. Oh, you can walk on him. I forgot about that. Is that the first boss from Strider? 
Turning oneself into a centipede is a surprisingly good event. Okay, I, I want to clarify something, chat. This boss is not hard. I'm just playing it super badly. This is what you're supposed to do. Like, straight up, there are no bosses. There are no hard bosses in this game. I was just, I was just doing death wrong, okay? I just wanna make sure we're all clear on that. I have a skill issue too a lot of the time, no worries. There we are, I exploded his head. You're too late, the castles will soon begin to merge together. They, they won't actually. It would actually be really convenient if they did, but they won't. Good. Good. Hey, there we go, Griffin's wing. That's what we needed. There we go. All right, chat, we got, we got the final mobility power up. We should now be able to reach any part of the castle. How you beat that guy, you just wait for him to go completely stupid. Good gameplay. This this is in fact gameplay, folks. Skill is not a negative thing. In fact, you stop playing gameplay other games and return to beat it. That's a great feeling. It is, it is. It is a that. Whee! The world is our oyster now, in in as much as this morass of castles can be. <clears throat> ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Oh, it hurts so good. Anyway, chat, I think this is where we're gonna stop for the night. As it so happens. Uh, we are currently at 150% completion. So, uh, yeah, we've kind of, we've kind of seen the castle at this point. Um, what we're missing, we're missing the two sub areas for castle A. We're missing the, what the hell is that? That's the chain, the room of illusion or whatever. And then the, the connecting point between this area, which we can actually now get to. And I think that'll be the first thing we do when we come back, uh, tomorrow night is we'll fill in the rest of the stuff here in the eastern side of the castle. And then when we switch over to Castle B, we basically just need to get back over to the entrance area and fill that in, uh, and then hit the areas that we needed the, the high jump for. We find the rest of Dracula's remains, we do away with Dracula, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's, uh, that's the plan, that's how it's gonna go down. So that's what we're doing tomorrow night. On Thursday, we are back to the power hours. Nintendo Power will return. It shall return. It must return. Uh, we're starting the May 1993 issue. Lots of interesting stuff in there, for sure. We'll also be continuing that on Saturday. Friday. Friday, however, is the wheel. Uh, we'll be doing a shmup fest wheel on Friday. And at the beginning of that stream, we're also going to be finalizing the schedule for Spooktober. So if you're just on like pins and needles to find out what our Spooktober schedule is gonna be. Friday is the night for you. And yes, if you look at this map, now that we basically have the full layout of it, it is a disaster. It is awful. It is so hard to get from one part of this place to the other, it is unbelievable. So, yeah. But we'll, we'll complain bitterly about that tomorrow as we try to fill out the rest of the map and, and finish everything off, so. Anyway, gang, let me go find somebody to raid. It is really hard to resist doing the same singing joke every single night, but I will resist. I will be strong. Gonna send you over to Bassy. Bassy's playing Cyberpunk. Which I guess got its new update and stuff. Oh yeah, we have several more chat 
Tchotchkes too. Remind me tomorrow at the beginning of the stream, I'll check and see how many tchotchkes we have and how many we're missing. I'm sure we're still missing a significant number, but it may be something that we can finish off tomorrow night. We'll see. Tomorrow is definitely the last night of, uh, of this game. Make, make no mistake. Uh, I think three nights of Harmony of Dissonance is enough for anybody, really. So anyway, chat, once again, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for joining me for yet more Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Thank you for listening to me ramble and complain and point out all the flaws in this game and also talk about other completely unrelated things. I am looking forward to more of all of that tomorrow night. So hopefully I will see you then. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.